Getting off to a flying start is the goal at the beginning of any group stage. Match day one coming up at the European Championship. Which team will come storming out of the traps today? Welcome everyone on a perfect night for football with the floodlights beaming down. I'm Derek Ray and my commentary partner as always is Stuart Robson. And excited to be bringing you match day one action at the Euros. It's Romania and they take on Ukraine. Well, these teams know they cannot afford to drop points today. It's so important they are consistent throughout the group stages if they want to progress further in the tournament. Should be tense, Derek. Textbook closing down, and now they're on the attack. And the starting 11 for Romania. Well, it's a flat 4-5-1, which would suggest they're going to try and play on the counter-attack. However, that will only work if they don't drop too deep and can't support the main striker. This looks more than decent. Well, defending always has to be a team effort. Good piece of covering. And the starting 11 for Ukraine. Well, it could be a cagey affair, this one. Both teams are going with a fairly defensive 4-5-1. But if they break quickly from their rigid shapes whenever they win the ball back, we could see an interesting game here. Lovely tempo to this passing sequence. Stanchio. It's a weighted pass. Superb stop. And he's fired over the corner. Oh, great header. Smart stop, though. Well, pressure building. Another corner. So the corner played into the box. Just wanted to get it out of there. Mikhailo Mudrik. Excellent assessment of the situation at the back. And the referee blows for a foul. Well, he can consider himself admonished even in the absence of a yellow card. A very good tackle. And he could really get at the opposition. Could cross it in here. In search of space. Can they do something positive on the counter-attack? Zinchenko now Zinchenko real chance and up for grabs off the keeper well you have to think they're going to take the lead at some point because they're really looking dangerous at the moment yes end to end stuff but now they're forced to track back and it's opening up Marine. Oh, could be an opportunity here. Just can't get it past him. An opportunity to forge ahead from this corner situation. And there's the delivery. Clearance left a bit to be desired. 
Stanchio. Marine. Determined defending. Can they create something from here? Well, it came to nothing in the end. Alexandra Zinchenko. Teamwork and passing in evidence. Well, trying to take their time, but not enough care on the ball. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Marine crossing possibilities a really top notch piece of defending effective challenge Stepanenko Sigankov Artem Dovbik. Promising pass. Crossing opportunity. So a corner kick it'll be following the deflection. Trying to deliver it accurately. Danger still on. Determined defending. And making sure there was no danger in the end. And there it is, the half-time whistle. So back underway and an intriguing second half in prospect. Went in strongly to win the ball. Chance to cross. That's useful play. And a decent save. Full credit. Well, getting the ball forward. Well, nothing comes of it. It looked promising. And the counter looks on here, options available. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Konoplia. Stepanenko. Now with Sinchenko. Still level here, but the pressure escalating. Chance to play it in. Zinchenko. Long way out. But the goalkeeper didn't have to work quite as hard as I thought he might initially. Well, there you have it. They haven't been good enough going forward. They've created very little so far. They need to play with much more urgency and struggling even to just get hold of the ball here using his physical strength to shield it 
could cross it in here. Will this corner bear fruit for them? Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Who can he pick out? Well, a bit short with the clearance. Just the challenge that was required. Well, the counter chance looks very real. This looks promising. A good and fair challenge. Alibek. Well, we have 20 minutes left in this game. Matvienko. Konoplia. Well, there's a really stylish piece of running. Stepanenko. And with that, the move comes to an end. And a goal kick to follow now. So a personnel change then. Possession changing hands. Now look at this. They might be able to cash in here. A oh, nice ball over the top. Stepanenko Viktor Tsigankov Could play it in Stepanenko Can they slot it home? Malinovsky Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up Well, just look at the setup here. It's such a clever back heel. And then the shot could not be hit any better. Struck with such venom. Great goal. Well, a dramatic moment near the end, and that might well be the decider. And just five minutes remaining. Andrei Burka. It's Marin. And into an attacking position. It's not too late for them. Plenty of players waiting in the middle. Ditch defending at its very finest. Marine. And the referee brings this game to an end. Disappointment for Romania in terms of the scoreline. Stuart, your thoughts? Well, I thought it was a really intense game. Lots of quality, lots of good individual displays. In the end, though, they won't be happy with the defeat, nor the manner of it, conceding so late on. Well, really, no complaints whatsoever about his performance in this game, Stuart. Well, I enjoyed watching him today. His work rate, skill and movement were excellent, and he fully deserved to score that winning goal.